Hi Dixons, I'm Tom Coltman, Assistant Vice Principal at Dixons Allerton Academy. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe to our channel, comment, like our videos and share using the hashtag Dixons Open Source. Collective learning at DAA comprises six components. Culture. Our culture defines who we are as an academy and channels our motivation towards a common purpose. Much of this work is instilled in collective learning. At the beginning of each cycle, or any other necessary time in the year, we devote time and collective learning to communicating consistent messages and updates about not only our expectations, but also clarity and reiterations about culture. For example, everything we do is centred on three things. Our values, happiness, the joy of life and learning, industry, hard work and resilience, responsibility, always doing the right thing, taking control and being accountable for one's actions. Our academy mission, at DAA, I developed good moral principles and achieved exceptional outcomes that enabled me to have ambitious life choices and our six learning habits. Always on task, no answering back, always on time, wear perfect uniform, carry full equipment and complete all homework. Collective learning provides a powerful platform to deliver clarity and detail on this tripartite approach. Communicating these important messages ensures consistency across the academy and rules out the possibility of any ambiguity or mixed messages. Registration and check-in with the advisor. Each morning, students meet in their year groups, sit down with their advisory groups and are greeted by their advisor. Collective learning acts as a successful replacement for tutor time or registration. Equipment and uniform check. The first thing that happens in collective learning is a full uniform and equipment check for all students. We believe it's important to maximise every minute, so full equipment and uniform checks first thing in the morning ensure conversations in lessons can focus solely on learning with no interruptions concerning individual student organisation. There is an opportunity for students to buy equipment if they're missing anything before collective learning begins. Advisors also take the register whilst they're doing the equipment and uniform checks. For us, the initial five minutes of collective learning plays an integral role in setting the tone for the rest of the day. Curriculum knowledge retrieval. The bulk of time in collective learning is devoted to curriculum knowledge retrieval, crystallising this powerful knowledge as outlined in Young's Knowledge in the Future School, is essential for ensuring information is embedded into students' long-term memory. With well-sequenced curricula, cemented knowledge is imperative for progression. Collective learning provides opportunities for students to practice the retrieval of both substantive and disciplinary knowledge. With limitations on time, unfortunately we can't address every subject in collective learning, so each week we focus on English, maths, science, humanities and PSHCE. The subject sessions are designed and planned to sit neatly alongside the curriculum enabling students to practice knowledge retrieval from the previous week's study. Along with the publication of knowledge organisers each cycle, collective learning provides excellent opportunities to embed the key knowledge using the knowledge organisers. We find the subject-specific collective learning sessions are particularly powerful when delivered by our subject specialists. Appreciations. Student recognition is given time each week in collective learning. We find recognising rather than rewarding student behaviour has a hugely positive impact on our culture. Additionally, we also know that focusing on the positive behaviour is just as powerful as sanctioning the negative. Particularly, recognition in large public forums has many benefits and inspires fellow students to follow suit. Each week, teachers recognise the positive behaviour or attitudes to learning from individuals in each year group and they are communicated through collective learning at the end of each week. Okay. Academy updates and messages. Just as lineup transitions ensure calm, focused starts to lessons, collective learning ensures a calm, focused outlook for the rest of the day. 
In addition to registering our students and uniform checks and equipment checks, this time is important for advisors to tend to any pastoral or individual student needs. Like in many schools, consistency is key. Achieving this requires consistent messages and consistent delivery. Collective learning is the ideal mechanism for this. Any changes from operational policy to teaching and learning or even upcoming dates can be delivered school-wide simultaneously with clarity. This enables the smooth running of our academy. We believe collective learning is one of several distinctive features that together have the potential to provide students with an exceptional educational experience. From logistical organisation to safeguarding, pastoral care and academic rigour, collective learning addresses these in the first 25 minutes of every day. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, like our video and share using the hashtag Dixon's Open Source. I look forward to seeing you soon.